the pre-takeoff briefing is very important to help you stay situationally aware and ahead of the aircraft. The type of pre-takeoff briefing you do will depend greatly on your specific airport and aircraft and other factors, but you will want to include the following. What type of takeoff and aircraft configuration you are flying? Identify who is pilot in command and who will fly in case of an emergency. Go over your initial heading, review any nearby terrain that you need to be aware of, what speed you will rotate at, climb out at, and what is your best glide speed, any noise abatement procedures for this airport, and any surrounding airspace and obstacles that we need to stay clear of. Next, you will want to identify your runway entrance and number. You will want to verify the wind conditions, if there is a crosswind, how windy it is, if it is gusty. You will want to pick an abort point. You will want to review what the altimeter will read when you are a thousand feet AGL, given that your altimeter reads MSL. And you will want to identify how you will proceed in the case of an emergency. For example, if you have engine failure on the runway with adequate runway remaining, after rotation with runway remaining, after rotation no runway remaining, after rotation below a thousand feet, and after rotation at or above a thousand feet. It helps to get a picture from above of the airport from Google Earth to see what areas are clear and what areas are densely populated. If you are at an altitude where it is safe to turn back towards the airport, you will want to keep in mind the direction of the wind so that you can turn back to the runway facing the wind so that it will help you keep an appropriate airspeed to prevent a stall spin accident. 